Oh, hello everybody. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about some free technology tools that you can use on the internet. Um, I'm going to talk about free learning tools uh, on the web on this website for teachers.org. Um, so I just wanted to, to, to give you a little uh, check it out uh, for, for on your own. There's lots of tools available for you as you can see kind of um, on the right here there is just all of these little links right here are links to different types of kind of website tool tools you have quizstar which if I could go to go to quizstar um, you've got it's a basically um, a website it's a website that you can save you can you can make up make a bunch of quizzes or you can actually choose from quizzes that are already made um, you can see let's see if you wanted to kind of go through and create a, a quiz function let's see basically you set up a teacher account to gain access to create quizzes and you can attach multi multimedia files to the questions like photos or videos uh, it also automatically grades the quizzes for you so your student you, you, have, you need to get your students to set up so you have like an instructor site and then you have a student site so your students need to make uh, their own accounts and sign up so they can take the quizzes uh, and uh, then you have your site where you can make make your quizzes and have your students take it online it also creates um, report has report tools to create uh, reports for your scores or your quiz results um, and you can create multilingual quizzes um, on this site as well so let me go back to fourteachers.org and then the next one I want to show you is Ruby Star Ruby Star is another website tool and you can use it to make rubric rubrics for your for your class assignments it's located at rubystar.fourteachers.org uh, and you you can either make these you can either make these rubrics from scratch or you can use already just like Quizstar. You can kind of use ones if, uh, that you that have already been made. Like there's like a featured pro they have featured projects. Uh, See, so you have different tops topics down here on on what kinds of rubrics that you you can you want to set up. Let's see, I wasn't working earlier. Yeah, see, I, for some reason they're having a little bit of problems with the site. I wanted to show you a little bit more about the rubrics and go through the the little categories and stuff. If I do create rubric, right now I'm getting an error. I, I wasn't getting this earlier, but then it kind of just started to they started having some errors, um, unfortunately. But usually, you can get into Ruby Star and make really nice rubrics, and it'll automatically populate the rubrics with and it has like categories I mean I even saw when I was looking at it they even had like a puppet show rubric they had just about every kind of subject you could think of um, then okay so the a academic skills builders is a is, is well it's an RK plus a academic site or academics which is just a lot of different types of video games lots of them I mean they have all sorts of video games and they all teach things and you can you here's all the little sub different subjects they have um, looks like you know there's lots of lots of it's a lot of math um, type subjects but they also have geography typing spelling uh, and just language arts types of games and if you click on any one of these I think it shows you which games so that look at it, even just for spelling they have six different games and it's also multiplayer games uh, multiplayer so that's kinda nice so multiple kids can play each other and compete kinda and I think that is really cool and it's got a lot of there's a lot on this particular site so as you can see and that's we're just three links deep into fourteachers.org and we, there's just a lot of stuff here that you can use for teachers tools uh, see what was the persuade star okay um, let's see classroom architect is a place where you can you can you can you create classroom floor plans to um, 
to, to arrange everything in your classroom to make it for, to be, have the best possible educational environment for your students, which is a really cool cool tool to have just to be able to um, move and before you move like if you want to rearrange your classroom you can you can sit you can do it in here before you move anything around and and make sure that it's gonna work the way you you would like for it to work so that's a cool tool uh, see this equity index is a searchable database designed to locate resources um, such as Ruby Star rubrics and Track Star Tracks and and educational web tools that go together in different subject areas and topics. So, and you have like different. If you can look up your your subjects here, and then it'll tell you which ones that they already have, that are already set up. Ruby set this. You know, there's seven Ruby Stars on um, on, on grants. And one on track star so there's a whole lesson plan and then there's seven different web resources just on grants so you have all these different subject areas and it'll kind of tell you what is already available in these areas so that's very helpful and very useful Let's see the next one oh track star so this is this is another big site for making lessons it's on Trackstar you can make online lessons and activities for your classroom and uh, you can collect websites and add annotations for your students and th um, this is what they call it that I mean they call it a track creating a track whenever I made one earlier today uh, yeah it was basically it's just a collection of websites that you you know for it that you might want uh, kids to um, look at for a particular type of lesson, so websites are are links to videos, and you just you put them in collection and put them all together and send it to them. And there's also over a hundred thousand already made tracks of various subject types, so you can search the database by subject, grade, or standard, and find a list of tracks that have already been or basically lesson plans and groups of links to website articles and videos for any specific particular type of topic topic so um, track star that's a good one too um, and all of these it seems like when I look at them the, the, they all have their own direct links and it's usually whatever it is this one right the track star was track star dot for teachers dot org so just so you know you can they do all have their own direct links to the each one of these sites you don't have to always go to fourteachers.org to get it but the fourteachers.org has all these kind of links already handy so you can get to all these different types of tools all in one spot Let's see a sign a day that allows you to make an online teacher managed calendar um, so you go here and you can you can make a calendar and that where you can put all of your assignments for the day every day that you have and kind of keep track of all of your um, assignments and and this is very useful for students that didn't you know that might might have missed class they can go there and see what they missed for the day and make sure that they make it up so that's pretty cool too Let's see Casa Notes is a tool used by teachers to um, it, it's a, it's to, it's to make notes using templates and uh, that 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 maybe you might want to send it's like a, a thing a flyer it's kind of like it's like a flyer maker to me but it's it's to make like little notes that you can send home to the parents or you know just notes to give to students so like like they have these little uh, here's here's some a list of topics that they they have. Um, some of the uh, field trip permission slips, kind of, you can preview them here. And uh, let me see, pull this in here. Like, it, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's like a, it's kind of like a pre-made note already. And then you can design it and put all the, the information you want in it. And um, see, they have a, a well done note. Let me see what that looks like. Um, you know, like that's like a certificate note. So they, they have, uh, see, what is it, medications? Oh yeah, so school medication permission form. So they just have a lot of generic type of handy school types of notes that things that would typically be using 
in schools and it's already pre-made and it's really cool function um, so there you go with that so casa notes and again it's casa notes dot for teachers dot org is the direct link on that one see PBL checklists is a project based learning checklist that lists and keeps up with the various projects that you'll be assigning your students so um, so say you have writing checklists it's kinda like a project management tool, tool from what I've seen I haven't really looked at this one too much but I just wanted to go over it with you just to so you see it this teachers tackle box uh, section is a it, it gives a, you know a list of links that you can use to to help you integrate technology into your school so they just have a, you know, inter integrating technology links uh, professional development um, and then the, these what is WebQuest, TrackStar, and ThankQuests. So you can kind of check out what those are. Um, I know those. Th yeah, this so WebQuest is a form of project-based, problem-based ba learning, uh, where you, with re re in, in which resources are located on the web. Um, there, you know, there's a variety of approaches for WebQuests. Uh, so just check out what these kinds of things are and I, I, I need to look into these more myself to be honest Let's see note star what is it? okay web poster wizard what was that Let's see poster wizard I was looking at this too so this is project po uh, posters allows uh, educators to create web lessons worksheets um, class pages and get it and, and immediately publish it online so that's very handy. The think tank is you can create an outline of topics and subtopics to to assist um, with your research projects. Um, so you, and, and also it helps you narrow down your research subject to make it more specific. And that way you and you can also export these into Notestar, which is uh, I might have skipped Notestar, but uh, that's uh, oh yeah Notestar. We just we didn't look at that. It's a it's it's a utility to assist in the um, to help you um, prepare your research papers. So at the your, the students, teachers and students can set up research projects with topics and subtopics, and um, so this is a you know very handy thing for preparing your bibliography page. So it's a you know just a useful tool for research kinds of stuff, and it goes hand in hand kind of with this think tank link. And then this one's kind of my favorite that I, I saw that I kind of think it's really interesting is the kids' videos. And it's a it's an instructional website to kind of help teachers and students use video production in class and to support uh, project-based learning. Uh, it has scripting and storyboard tools, tips on how to shoot a quality video, editing tips and tips on how to show your video online um, or on a CD. So very useful tool. Um, and that's the last link that they have on these tools for, for teachers.org. But there's also a lot of other little features here, uh, articles and integrating technology. Uh, there's, there's just a lot going on, on this website. I, um, I definitely encourage you to check it out and, it, and, and also check out all these different little website tools that they have for teachers. It's a very useful and handy website. So thanks for listening to uh, my video on fourteachers.org. Thank you.